So after carrying out our PCL analysis, we believe that three of the six factors are of particular interest, the economic, social, and econo ecological factors. From an economic point of view, we see a decrease in the purchasing power of consumers. On the other hand, customers complain about the price of the sanitary protection they buy every month. The social factors is also very interesting. We can see in the customer a desire to consume sustainable products and good for the planet. We also see that confidence is current um, sanitary protection product is decreasing, especially for the negative health effect of the tampon and the lack of efficiency of the sanitary pads. Finally, the ecological factors is very important because the current products, and in particular the tampon, is not reusable and takes a long time to decompose. Today, sales of traditional menstrual protection are decreasing about 3% per year, and this is due to the arrival of new alternatives such as the menstrual panties. But what is a menstrual panty? It is a panty whose main characteristic is the absorption of menstrual flows and facing the ecological and healthy side for the user. It is composed of several layers to prevent in particular the overflows. That's why the menstrual panty is located on the market between the sanitary protection and the underwear. They first appeared in the United States in 2015. A few years later, they arrived on the European market and registered a record sales. Between 2020 and 2021, the sale volume of period panties increased by 272% according to the Nielsen IQ Institute. Almost impossible to find just a few years ago, menstrual panties are now mainly sold on the internet where they first appeared. Thus, by addressing consumers directly, they can also offer a larger range of products and with a higher availability of size. However, there is a development of this product in the usual sales areas such as supermarkets, where they have been available since 2021. 355 million euros of sales were made there in 2021 by this sales channel. Organic or made in France menstrual panties have recently been introduced, an opportunity to highlight the environmental engagement of companies and consumers. Brands are also trying to develop new range, such as panties designed for the first periods of teenager or products adapted to practice a specific sport activity, such as swimming. Between classic menstrual panties and new specialized models, brands share a market that is likely to grow significantly in the coming years. In fact, according to the British film Future Market Insight, the market for menstrual panties could grow by 15.8% per year until 2030. Even if Western European countries are starting to adopt this product gradually, menstrual panties are not available everywhere. For example, in Switzerland, it is impossible to find them. The opportunities of development in these areas are high. The market being relatively new, it is in fuel growth. Significant marketing efforts are being put in place around product launches and the profitability of brands is gradually developing. For the rest of our market study, we will focus on the French market because it is the one on which we want to implant our business in priority. With regard to our competitive analysis, we are able to make a typology of our competitors. First, they have the historical specialists. They use their experience to emphasize the confidence that customers can have in their products. As well, as well as the comfort and convenience of their products. In this category, we find mainly the Nana brand. Secondly, lingerie brands are also diversifying by offering menstrual panties. They have a position focused on aesthetics and affordable products in order to attract customers. In this category, we find the brands Etam and Dim. Finally, the pro specialist who uh, Exclusively, sell menstrual pants are often small online companies. Most of them focus on made in France and eco-responsible production, 
will giving sanitary protection a new image. In this category, we find mainly brands such as Rijan, Fempo and Blooming. According to our comparison of the main brands on the market, they are different depending on the criteria selected. Most of them offer menstrual panties in the bracket ranking from 25 euros to 40 euros and propose a wide range of uh, products. But regarding the sales impacts, the made in France and the environmental aspect, this difference according uh, to the values and strategy of each brand. Additionally, it can be noted that uh, no brands has developed menstrual panties with the aim of uh, reducing pain. To deepen our study of the competition, we will implement the five competitive forces tool developed by Porter. All these factors make this market very intense and dynamic. It is very to differentiate oneself in order to stand out from competitors and attract customers. This can be done through the quality of the products, the technology provided and the, the image of uh, the brand. On January 1, 2022, there will be more than 35 million women in France. Today, if we consider that menopause takes place around the age of 50, it is estimated that about half of these women are held henhouse to have a menstrual cycle. The market potential is therefore enormous, with no less than 17 million potential customers in the French market alone. During the purchase process, the hygienic comfort and the absorption of the menstrual protection you use are the two most important decisive elements. However, aware of the environmental impact of the current consumption mode, they wish more and more to acquire products more respectful of the environment. Menstrual panties are the perfect target. Moreover, it also answers a fundamental expectation that to use hygienic product less dangerous for the health, contrary to the towel or the tampons, which can involve important toxic shocks. As sanitary protection is a basic necessity, women cannot do without it, even if 3 million of them are victims of menstrual insecurity. This means that they do not buy sanitary protection because of a lack of budget. Menstrual panties can be an economical solution in the long term for this woman, even if the cost of purchase is often a barrier. To evaluate the consumption habits and expectation of our potential clients, we decide to set up a one-time survey distributed to different channels to vary the profiles and obtain the most complete analysis possible. Organized in four parts, we obtained 177 answers to this questionnaire. Here are the most relevant elements that we were able to identify. Today, nearly 70% of women surveyed use always brand products during their period. By launching a new range of products, customers will be able to trust use more easily. For in 90% of our panel, supermarkets are the first place they buy their sanitary protection. This percentage is related to the fact that the majority of them use menstrual towels and menstrual tampons during their menstruation against only 20% we use menstrual panties. There is therefore a significant market development opportunity with many potential customers. With a monthly budget allocated to the hygienic protection included between 0 and 10 euros for nearly 81% of the surveyed women, 
they wish to reduce it for 60% of them. Menstrual panties are therefore an economical alternative in the long term. During the menstrual cycle, 81% of our panel indicates to feel pains, has stomach itches for 90% of them, or back itches for 62% of the questioned women. Finally, after having presented our product to them, more than 7 women out of 10 consider that one of the determining factors when buying our product will be its eco-responsible side. It is very important to make a SWOT analysis to have a broad view of the business in its environment. It can be done at the beginning of each new project or during a regular review. I would like to start by talking about external forces in order to follow the logic of the pestle analysis. First of all, there are many opportunities for us after the launch of this product. Indeed, a recent scandal exploded about the toxic shocks caused by the tampons. Two years ago, a 17 years old girl died. This event provoked a massive reaction of women. The consumption of tampons fell sharply. In addition, we have no direct competitor. Yes, there are many menstrual panties, but the eating option is brand new on the market. To finish with the opportunities, recently a large network of influencers is emerging. So it might be interesting to focus on their services in order to promote the product. However, several external elements can interfere with the way our business works. The concept is new, we may be afraid of the reaction of women to this innovation. There is one element that could also be disturbing, such as too many supply-related returns that could lead to logistical and inventory management problems. We are also not immune to the rapid arrival of direct competitors. However, there are many internal forces, such as brand popularity. The consumer can give some confidence to the product's purpose. Our competitive price and eco-friendly product are also important assets. Our satisfied or refunded offer is also a new source of trust for the consumer. Finally, our product may have some weaknesses due to our raw material eating in contact with the skin. It is rare and delivery times may not be in line with the potential demand around this product. The low presence on the brand on e-commerce can also be an obstacle for our product. In terms of targeting, our ideal client will be a woman with a regular menstrual cycle, with lower abdominal or back pain during her period. This client will also be very environmentally conscious and would be looking for a reusable product. Regarding the positioning of our product, we made sure that we could put forward intangible and tangible uh, elements. Of course, our main marketing argument will concern the functional benefit of the product, namely the reduction of pain during menstruation. However, depending on the channel used and our target audience, we will also be able to put forward the symbolic dimension of the product and in particular its uh, eco-friendly side.
Regarding the home market product, we offer our customer a three-day delivery guarantee, as well as a guarantee in case of product uh, defect or inefficiencies. In addition, we offer our customers a unique experience of immersion in our company by proposing solutions to improve our product or innovate new product, because our customers know better than anyone else what needs to be uh, improved. In order to define an acceptability price, we asked two questions to a panel of 118 women. The first was to know from what price our prices will be too expensive, and the second was to know below what price our prices will be considered too low quality. In order to t determine this acceptability price, we opt for the classic method. The principle is simple. All you have to, to do is to calculate the increasing or decreasing cumulative number and apply the following formula. 100 minus cumulative 1 minus cumulative 2. The largest value will therefore be retained. For example, for the price of 21 euros, we apply this formula. It gives 100 minus 1.1 minus 67.2. Or... 31.6. According to our table, the largest value corresponds to a price of 27 euros. In other words, this means that the price of 27 euros is acceptable for nearly 72% of women. We will now present our distribution policy. Regarding the packaging, we offer 100% recyclable packaging made from recycled materials. As you can see on this slide, we have a green packaging to remind the customers of eco-responsible aspect of the product in order to attract their attention. We promote the warming side of the panties to reduce paint. This is our competitive advantage. In addition, we highlight the economic aspect of buying the product as a pack to encourage customers to buy. In terms of distribution, we have decided on a selective retail strategy with dedicated sales areas in shops, but also on our online site where we will offer exclusive colors and previews of new models. The aim of this uh, policy is also to differentiate the brand from other brands present in all supermarkets. This will give a more premium product image. Within our communication campaign, we want to highlight the two most important characteristics of our product. First, it's pain a relied side thanks to the thermolactyl heating strip, which is positioned as a substitute for the hot water bottle. And after, it's eco-responsible side by using environmentally friendly materials and reducing waste in the long term. Our campaign strategy is to launch a national promotional campaign so that a large number of potential customers can discover our new product. 
we were mainly targeting women with a regular menstrual cycle, who experienced stomach and lower back pain during their period, and who are sensitive to the development of new, more environmentally friendly products. To this end, we will broadcast our advertisement for this new product on major television channels at strategic time when a larger number of women watch TV. But we will also carry out a massive poster campaign to raise awareness of the major advantages of our menstrual panties. The billboard will be on the head of the shelves of the store in which we already propose our product, but also in the bus and subway station or on the public highway. It is important that the publicity is regularly visible for our targets so that it ends up wanting to acquire it. Our main challenge will be to convince our target of the effectiveness of the thermolactyl eating strip to relieve the menstrual pain. That's why we have planned a pressive communication and sales schedule for our product.